Hi everyone, my name is Tejis Girish Babu and now let us learn about OSI model and TCPIP model. Well, OSI model or TCPIP model is a set of standards or rules. Well, you might ask why do we need a set of rules or standards? Well, to understand that you should know a few things about history of computer industry. Well, let's now move forward. Well, coming to history of computer industry, well, not long ago, there was some battle between IBM and Digital Equipment Corporation in becoming the number one computer manufacturer. But both the companies had one drawback. That was devices manufactured by both the companies were not compatible with each other. For example, if you buy a CPU from IBM, you have to buy the monitor, well, uh, mouse uh, and other accessories from IBM itself. You could not buy the, those accessories outside IBM. It was the same thing with Digital Equipment Cooperation. The devices they manufactured were also not compatible with each other. This was a major problem during this period. At this time, ISO, which is most commonly called as International Organization for Standardization, um, came to know that there was a need of standards and they developed OSI in 1980. Well, OSI is Open System Interconnect, which is most commonly known as OSI Reference Model. Um, later on TCPIP model was introduced and TCPIP model is a stripped down version of OSI model. Well now let's move forward and learn those things. Well this is the OSI model and uh, this TCPIP model and um, as a networking student you should know the exact sequence of the model. Well the first is the physical layer and the last is application layer. Well the best way to remember this is to by adding it or uh, remembering it with some keywords or uh, mnemonics. Well, how I remember is by using mnemonics. Well, I use the mnemonics. Um, please do not throw the sausage pizza away. Well, while um, please starts with P, which is a physical layer, and don't uh, data link layer. Dot is network layer. Throw is uh, transportation layer. Sausage is session layer. Pizza is presentation layer. Away is application layer. Well, you can remember it by your own mnemonics or your own key sentence or by by adding it. But it is important that you remember it uh, is in the right uh, order. Okay. Well, um, now moving on. First is physical layer. In physical layer, there is a physical transmission between binary data in the given media. The media can be either copper media, fiber media, or wireless media. Well, examples for physical layer is ab, modem, or a repeater. Well, moving on to data link layer. Data link layer is responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of data between the devices on a network. It deals with hardware addressing. Hardware addressing is nothing but MAC address. And uh, those of you who don't know what a MAC address is, a MAC address is a 12-digit hexadecimal identifier which is used to identify a device in a network. Um, examples for data link layer is uh, a switch or a bridge. Well, moving on to network layer. Network layer is a third layer and uh, it deals with IP addresses. It is responsible for logical addressing and uh, path determination. For examples for net this network layer are router, a multi-layer switch, a packet and so on. Well, moving on to transport layer. Transport layer is responsible for end-to-end -end transportation of data between the application. Well, the services are identified in that transport layer with the help of port numbers. Well, major protocols which are used in transport layer are TCP and UDP. TCP is transmission control protocol which is connection oriented while UDP is a user datagram protocol which is connection less. Examples for TCP are HTTP, FTP, SMTP. While examples for UDP are uh, DNS, uh, TFTP, etc. Well, moving on to session layer. Session layer is responsible for establishing, maintaining, and terminating sessions. Uh, examples for this session layer are RPC, SQL, and NFC, NFS. Sorry. And uh, moving on to presentation layer. Presentation layer deals with data presentation. It defines the standard format of the data. Well, the major fun functions of this presentation layer are encoding, decoding, encryption, decryption, and uh, compression and decompression. Well, 
application layer is uh, responsible for um, um, providing uh, interface between user to interact with application services well examples for this application layer is a web browser well identification of the service is done by port numbers well some of the important port numbers are for http it's 80 and 21 for ftp and uh, 25 for, uh, for smtp 23 for telnet and 69 for tftp well moving on to tcp ip model well in tcp ip model the uh, in uh, OSI model, the physical layer and data link layer are combined into network access layer in TCP IP model. Whereas the network layer is the internet layer in TCP IP model. Well, uh, the transport layer is uh, the same. Well, while the session layer, presentation layer and application layer are combined into application layer in uh, TCP IP layer. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you learned something. Uh, um, I will be back with another video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.